Hi, I'm uh, Dallin Doney. I'm a systems engineer working for N+. And what we're showing here is a display and a simulation of um, what N+ can do to allow manufacturers to be interoperable. Here on the PC we have a simulator running. This simulator is talking to a USB stick on the computer that emits N+ signals. This simulator, the screen you're seeing here is the heart rate simulator. It's showing a heart rate monitor, simulating a heart rate monitor. We have four or five other simulations running on the PC that are emulating bike power, bike speed, bike cadence, um, foot speed and distance. This is all to simulate um, the, the human body as if it was wearing sensors or a bike that is, has a bunch of sensors on it that someone is using. Um, this graphic over here kind of shows what the general configurations of people that use sensors and then plus typically look like and how they're used. Here on the display case, we have a number of manufacturers of watches and displays. We have watches from Timex. We have a bicycle computer from VDO. We have a watch from Boyer. We have some watches from Garmin. Here on the iPod, we are showing uh, a display and an application by a company called ITMP. They use a they have a special Smart Link technology that transmits or receives ant information and transmits it over to Wi-Fi to the iPod. You can see here on the displays that they're all showing the same data coming from the simulators. Um, they have uh, all this heart rate is the same. Right now the simulator is showing that it's 90 beats per minute for heart rates and all the watches are showing 90 beats per minute. Um, if I was to change the heart rate on the simulator, you'll notice that on the displays that the heart rate then changes across. Some of them give you indications that you're entering different zones. Um, but right now I put the simulator to be 110 beats per minute and uh, all the watches and displays have updated accordingly. This shows how by following the AMP Plus device profiles and specifications you can have interoperable devices that will be ready to work for your consumer market. Uh, the network topology of this is a broadcast network and so things, the information from the PC is being broadcast to the watches so that this allows a one-to-many connection. Uh, this isn't a single point-to-point, -point, but it still allows a very robust connection that gives you the data you need. In this topology, we would be able to take one of the nodes and remove it from the system and not have any problems uh, with the rest of the network. So for example, if I was to turn off the Wi-Fi repeater for the, um, for the iPod, uh, the system would still be intact with the rest of the displays and it would work, continue to work fine. The, uh, the iPod will time out after a couple of seconds of not receiving any data and will then uh, stop its workout basically, but you'll be able to notice that the rest of the displays continue to work properly and show the right information.